Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15. In case you want to write it down. Laziness brings on deep sleep and the shiftless go hungry. Spiritual laziness, like physical laziness, results in a deep sleep of the spirit, a state of spiritual inactivity, indifference, and complacency. Why should we want to overcome this spiritual laziness? Why should we want to overcome not being able to read the Word of God? Because some of you have just accepted it. Some of you just said, I don't like to read the Word, and that's okay. Do you think that's okay? Do you think it's okay not to read God's Word and, and, and grow in faith? No, it's not okay. That's actually the opposite of okay. It's not okay. Is it okay to just not pray, just, just every now and then say, Jesus, I love you, and pray over your food, and think everything's cool? No, it's not okay, because then you'll become lukewarm. That's when you'll, you won't have any type of spiritual activity, because you're slothful, because you're lazy. Look at this. What's at stake when we have spiritual laziness? Revelation chapter 3, verses 15 through 16 warns us, I know your deeds. This is Jesus speaking. I know your deeds, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Jesus, when you're lukewarm, will spit you out of his mouth. He will spit you out of his mouth. The Greek word used in the Bible is akiria, which basically means the absence of care. Now you need to understand that this is a sinful condition of the heart where you don't care about anyone or anything. Then you find yourself to be lazy, slothful. Proverbs 21 verse 25 says, the desire of the sluggard kills him for his hands refuse to labor. All day long he craves and craves, but the righteous gives and does not hold back. Now, did you know that you can even be a sloth when it comes to your relationship with God? You know what I'm talking about. You're too lazy to read your Bible, too lazy to go to church to make the effort, too lazy to pray to the God of the universe. Romans 12 verse 11 says, Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. You know, there are even these type of Christians who justify their slothfulness with things like, nah, I don't believe that you have to go to church or to spend time with other brothers and sisters in Christ to worship Him. But Hebrews 10 verse 24 says, Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Listen to this. Not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Now, there's a lot of Bible verses that warns us against being a sloth, against laziness. One of my favorite is Proverbs 6 verse 6. It says, Go to the ant, O sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. You know, it's interesting that a lazy person always thinks that he or she is so smart, always coming up with the smartest, silliest excuses not to do something. Proverbs 26 verse 16 says, The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. The key to overcome any form of sin is to live, act, and walk in the Spirit. And then you won't give in to the flesh.